comes against that. But, um, Portugal, and then who's this? They have a fish flag? No. I don't know what that is. It's an eye with something around it. I thought it was a fish in the little icon. Um, you guys are going to be fine. I promise. You might get occupied completely by all these Spanish colonial nations, but... You got a Lithuania Hoi 4 game running and you forgot? Oh, now you took Moscow without seeing it? Well, that sounds like a good thing, doesn't it? Taking Moscow is always fun. Um, all right. I think it's time to attack. I would really like Great Britain in this fight for the whole navy, the naval advantage, but... Oh, wait, no. Maybe... We wait for Morocco. Hmm. I don't know. I think I want to wait for Morocco, but I don't know how much they're actually going to do. They would pretty much just be a distraction for Spain. And I'm pretty confident in our ability to fight Spain right now. Wait, they lost a significant amount of troops, it looks like. Screw it. We're going to do it. Um... Is this mothballed? It's not. Brazilian? Let's go. Mm. Who's the best siege leader? Frederick or Leonardo? So, this guy's fine. We'll send him down here. Lose a lot of money or lose some tax and trade efficiency? That's fine. Can we barrage we can? You guys come down here, you guys come down here. We They did get military access through Spain, um, which is interesting. Influenza that is triggering at this time. Um, are you, let's see, did they cancel military access? They did. Okay, you do you. Guess they decided they really didn't want it. <laughs> Our ports are gonna be severely blockaded no trade for us. Um, all right, so let's go. Still can't get here. Let's go over here. And then let's figure out something to do to optimize our siege stacks, probably. So, like, how many total cannons do we have? 23. So what if we did, like, 12 cannons here? Took all of your cav, ran down here, and we would have 8k cannons, so take your cannons, go down here. Man, micromanaging armies, how fun. So 19 and 12 seems decent. Um, let's actually take one infantry just to make it 30. 31 is a gross number. And then, oh, well that was a quick siege. So you guys take all your cav and go back here. So now you have 20 and 10. You guys are going to have a whole lot of cavalry. 14 and 12. Not really the most optimal that it could be. I could send these guys over here. Kind of risky. You're going to bed. It's over. It's 1 a.m. over here. Good luck and have fun. Thanks. Um, hopefully we can... Uh, thanks for stopping by, first of all. Hopefully, we can knock Spain out of this entire game successfully. Oh my lord. Well, that is some good luck right there. A uh, 5554 five, liter. Oh, I am. That was really lucky, too, because I don't think our army tradition is even up that high right now. 75. It could be 75% of what it could be. Um, let's go ahead and do one of these two, admin efficiency or absolutism. I think yearly absolutism is mathematically better. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, that is the best thing to do. I think we'll do this fort next. Upgrade it. 
Um, and you guys... We're gonna want to pop open a fork, so you guys. Oh my lord, this is super fast. We might not even have to take a single battle this entire war. That would be cool. Optimal. Oh, just kidding. If all my vassals and stuff can just occupy this land over here, like carpet siege for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's see, are we occupied over here yet? Not quite. Are we still colonizing? We're not. I completely forgot about that, that colonizing was a thing. Um, where's the next highest dev province? It's probably this one. Let's expel some minorities. Probably just keep expelling these guys. Who else do I need to spy on? Probably Siena, Lucca, Provence. We need to connect our land down here just for border purposes. Siege of Burgos is over. And we are knocking these forts down like it's absolutely nothing. Spain has no idea what's hitting them right now. They just now realized that they had gotten declared on. That's how fast we're coming through their country. We might want to rush over and knock out Portugal real quick. Austria hasn't even had any time to really get any participation. Oh my lord. This is... This is like Christmas. Oh lord. Uh-oh. I... Wasn't paying attention. Um, force march onto here. All right. Cancel force march and come back. Not the greatest army comps in the world. Um, now that we're actually taking fights, but it's whatever. Um, this should be fine. Yeah. I was not thinking it was going to be attacking one of the scary armies, but it didn't. There's that siege over. Um, let's go ahead and go down here to this fort. Uh-oh. Ottomans announced me as their rival. That's not good. Now, we really have to watch out for them in coalitions. That's for sure. Trade wars. Lose 50 diplo points. Well, that doesn't seem like much of a war to me. That sounds like I'm getting screwed over. Oh, they actually won that fight. The 44 stack decided to go stand on Madrid instead of helping win the war, cause, or win the fight, because they definitely could have won that, I think. We'll have to go take out that army whenever we get this fort sieged. Let's go down here to Sevilla, Sevilla, Sevilla. All right, you guys come stand up here. Be ready to fight this dude. Got a mission. What mission did we finish? This one. Oh yeah, we were supposed to take this whenever we were fighting Spain. Oops. Alright, Mr. Portugal. Um, I don't think I'm going to take any other nice beaches this time. Let's go concede Brazil. Oh, I would like that. I don't know what that means, though. Um, I don't think we actually get anything from it. I think that just gives us technicality over the land. Can we actually take any of this land for our colony? Or will it not let us, since we don't occupy it? Yeah, we don't occupy it, so it, won't let, it will not let us. That's fine. Um, all right, Portugal. No, that's Castile. Portugal. We could. Do I want to, though? It's 11 dev. It'd be pretty good. 
sure. Why not? It isn't really aggressive expansion that matters. Let's also take war reps. No war reps? Thanks for that, Brazil. Um, did this actually give it to what's their faces? No, it didn't. So I won't core that. I'll just give it to these guys. Um, hopefully we can knock Spain down enough so that they uh, have to release some of their colonial nations. That would be cool. I don't think they would ever have to release them, but. All right, stop force marching. And you are not a siege stack, so the siege stack can go up here to Lyon. You guys can come over here. I think that's all their forts after we get Lyon down. Um, which is, it's interesting that they're still at such high war enthusiasm, I guess because they have all their colonial nations. And this isn't going to help their debt situation, which is good for us. That's why if we want to keep their armies, um, if we want them to go more into debt, we'll keep their armies alive, so they just have to keep paying for them. And reinforcing and stuff. We'll be able to upgrade some a level 2 to level 3 center of trade too whenever this war's over. How's the whole culture converting thing going? 1641. So still not very good. We're only at 51%. That's so disappointing. Austria's taking that fight? They might actually win. They're definitely going to win. We have some Catholic zealots up here. Is that not Catholic land? It is. I guess those are our rebels or something like that. I don't know. I'm fine with unrest. Not that it matters much anyway. Oh, they're actually going to kill some of these armies. I kind of want to control this straight, if I'm being honest. Settler chance plus 5% and more colonist. Okay, we will go ahead and start colonizing. I kind of want to colonize some of this down here, too. Unfortunately, we can't, um, we can't get over that way around Africa. It would have to be like these provinces, the Ivory Coast and the grain coast um we'd have to fight Brittany. it's fine can do this and then get over this way uh, i don't know i think i'd rather just focus on these colonies over here it's not like i even wanted to do much colonizing anyway coming into this that's just kind of how it turned out We'll go ahead and convert this for these guys, whenever we give it to them, anyway. All right, when we get these siege down, I will peace out, probably. Unless they don't give me what they want, in which case we'll just keep milking them for money. Um, so. I definitely want these two provinces, at least. I have claims on those. And I have a lot of Diplo points. I'm at very ahead on Diplo tech, so I can afford to take more. What if I took like this? Not even a bad coalition. So I would pretty easily be able to do that. I don't have the admin points to core it right now. 
But taking off Catalonia would be helpful. Um, it is in a trade node that we very much care about. And it'll be nice to help get more claims against Spain in the future. We don't have any transport, so I can't really afford to take these down here. Um, and I would rather not take any of the islands because we don't have the transports to do anything to suppress rebels there. So I think I like this. I like war reps. Can I humiliate? I can't. And then just drive them more into bankruptcy. And I am A-OK -okay with that peace deal. Unfortunately, we're going to be sitting on some um, overextension for a while. But that's that's just the way of the world. Um, you guys all... We need to figure how figure out how to get these armies better. Um, more optim optimally um, rearranged. We can make you a level 3 center of trade. And we can also upgrade Laka to level 3. Man, we are going to have complete control over the Genoan trade node just from centers of trade. Institution, not even going to be a problem to spread through this land. Also super cheap to dev. Super cheap, I mean relatively, obviously. Guys, go ahead and take care of these rebels first. I don't want to build any buildings because I don't want to accidentally build buildings and not core land because then we'll have to wait to core it, even though we already kind of have to wait to core it. Alright, so we have... Siege stack? Siege stack. 12... Ten. Let's go ahead and get rid of six cannons. Take you here. You get rid of two cannons and take you here. You have a lot of calves, so get rid of eight, four, four. And I think that should be pretty managed, or pretty equal, pretty balanced army comps. Um, something needs to change here. So we have 1448, 1846, 2048. So take two of you and go here. And I think that will be equal ish as possible. Cool. So you guys suppress. You guys come up here and suppress. You guys are going to be over. We'll have you drill. Probably in like the capital. Austria is the emperor again. Do we knock Spain down? Not really that much. So you guys, why can't you drill? Oh, we don't own that province. Fair enough. We making Emperor, wow, they actually are gaining imperial authority every month now. Good for you, Emperor. Let's uh, let's go ahead and add all provinces because the more reforms we get, the more it helps out the empire in general. So might as well expand the HRE. Let's get some more mercantilism. Actually, are we? How close are we to taking tech? A few years. And do just a little bit of diplo dev and Welsh burn. Nope, not local defensiveness, local dev cost. We're making a heckin' profit right now. you love to see. And we'll probably want another four in Urgle. Are we coring that? No, not yet. 
Uh, let's do that next so that I can start building a fort there whenever it's done coring. I also kind of want to consider annexing Auvern. Since we have more governing capacity now, that is quite a bit of dev, though, that we would have to take in. When do we get more governing capacity? Um, level 20, so two techs away, and we get 250. I think we also get more from this. No, that just gives us more auto less autonomy in territories. Is there a screen where we can look at states and see which states have the least amount of development? Yeah, actually. Interesting. And we can get a lot of claims on Castile now. Um, so let's go in there. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Pull off of you. Where else? Siena. All right, we can get one claim here. Provence, we can't get a claim. Oh, we can't. Are you not a part of the HRE? I guess not. We can improve. Let's do a round of improvements since we're not going to be taking land in the near future. Um, and let's go ahead and spy on... I don't even know. And spy on these guys again so we can knock them out soon. Um, they don't have any allies. We probably don't even have to get a spy network. These dudes, yeah, we already have a claim on them, actually. Ah, I forgot to uh, give this land away to my vassal. Oh well, we can do it after this war. Oh, we can't core this because it's uh... Can we hurry up and get down here? I don't know if we'll get there in time. we will I think that's gonna be minus 200 whatever it's called in that province peoples we're gonna have to send a colonist again or is it fine yep we have to send a colonist again that's my bad I wasn't paying attention I forgot that we had to manage that So next is how to take out the Ottomans. Um, Spain is kind of dealt with now. Not completely, but they're in a lot of debt. They are... How much debt are they in exactly? 2806. Not as much as I thought they would be. Um, I mean, they lost part of their land, which is good. Um, they have a lot of rebels over here. Some separatists, some separatists. Um... Next is the Ottomans. How do we deal with the Ottomans? And to that I would say, I'm not sure. Gazmuk and Ormuz. I think we just have to wait until we keep building up. And our allies would jump in. Who else hates you? They have no valid rivals. And a base tax in Rio Branco. It's here. Yeah. Turn off force march, you don't need to do that anymore. 
And let's go ahead and spy on France. No, we have claims on France. Um, we also have another relationship slot that we could use. I guess we can spy on Mimingen and try to maybe get called in. Or that's a way we could fight Austria again. And then re-up an alliance with Austria directly after. So you guys come here. Also, Mr. Guy, let's give you St. Vincent. You can take care of that. Hopefully you can take care of that. There is some unrest. Rebels might be an issue there. Can we humiliate anyone? No, let's see who we want to ally now. Norway? Gildum formed. Interesting. I guess maybe Separatist were the reasoning for that. Honestly, anyone over here to help us take out the Ottomans, it would probably be the Timurids? The Great Horde? Do they want Ottoman land? They do. The Great Horde would be a good ally, I think. Commonwealth would be decent, but I'm too scared that the Commonwealth are actually going to de get declared on. I don't know why the Ottomans aren't fighting the Great Horde either. But either way, maybe we could be a deterrent. probably build up to like 40 light ships and then start building some transports as well um, and actually start having a battle navy I think that'll be good that way if we accidentally keep them out we can actually like you know fight and don't have to run away and hide in our ports and then forget to do anything with trade after that um, any of these buildings that are worth building Can't even build any of those, so I guess we'll look and see which one of these we want to upgrade next. Probably this one. More innovativeness. Good, good, good. A noble plot. Ah. Dang, I really do not. Oh, nice. That's not a nice. No. Wrong. That's not 69. That's 666. That's a scary number. Producing more tropical wood. Making 60 ducats a month. That is nice. Not even, like, ironically, just... Wow, a lot of ducats. And I guess we'll go ahead and start getting more cannons. What's our... Combat width is 32, so... Aut or Ottomans. Optimally, we would have 16 in each... Army. Ottomans keep rivaling us and then not being able to rival us anymore because they're not like able to. They keep surpassing us. Is our truce up with France? 1637. I think we need to keep expanding into Italy more. I think those high dev provinces are really good. There's not many people down here who will get pissed at us as opposed to expanding within the HRE. Westphalia formed. Are they still our ally? They are. Wow. Good job. Um, Mantua, maybe? Would be a good guy to fight next. Venice. I still hate Venice. And their stupid little face. Oh, I have another merchant. I don't know where I got him from. I guess we can go ahead and transfer from... We're already transferring down here. Transferring down here. Where else do we have a lot of power? 15%. See, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12%, 7%, 12
20%. That's already transferring though. I guess we can transfer from here to the correct way. I don't know how much this is going to help, but this is where he's supposed to be anyway. So. Quote unquote supposed to be. Our trader has died. Rip. Yeah, we can definitely afford level three guys. Um, actually, let's upgrade him. And then I guess we'll go Diplo Rep. Diplo Rep's good. Who can we potentially um, annex? Dalmatia, Alan Solon. I wish Dalmatia would get freaking cores on Croatia like I told him to. Claims. I always say cores and claims. I get them mixed up. Because then having them actually have more land would be nice. Especially this pretty good land over here. Help protect against the Ottomans as well. Having a fort right there. And in Dalmatia. I'll help strategically against the Ottomans, that is. Still right on the cusp of um, the right amount of nations being Protestant that we can get all the bonuses, I guess. Ah, uh, we are done improving with the Great Horde and they still don't want an alliance. There are only four reasons away. We can give them a gift, but I don't know if it's worth. You know what? Screw it. We have a lot of money. Oh, wait, and we can offer knowledge sharing. We'll take it. I think we will give them a gift. Or influence. Influence would be good too. Depends how much the gift is gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be a decent amount of money. Oh, we would have to spend 449 ducats a month to do that. Um, give them this. Is that enough? Oh, we're one reason away. Now we're three reasons away. Just keep improving. Stay on this guy. Oh, I know what we can do. Um, okay. Um, no, keep on you. Who are you rival to? Denmark and the Commonwealth. We have plenty of prestige. So, uh... We failed that agenda. Yeah, I'm not surprised. We expected that to happen. Yeah, do you like us now? Yeah, now you do. That we insulted your enemy. All right, Great Horde. Um, we expect you to help against the Ottomans. That is the sole reason why we're doing this, just so you know. Um, we can get a claim on Mimingen. Or Mimingen, I don't know which one it is. And then... So if we fight Mantua... We're going to be fighting... Oh, no. Maybe we don't want to fight Mantua. That's a lot of people. Maybe we want to fight Sienna. Oh, we can fight the Pope right now. Take more coastline down into Italy. Would be good. Ferrara. We would be fighting them in Sicily. Who's Croatia allied to? Ragusa and Crete. Okay, well, we can't fight either of those guys. Venice, we will be fighting the Knights, Salzburg, Regensburg, Mantua, and Munich. So the Knights, Salzburg, who still exists apparently. Regensburg, Mantua, and Munich. Those are all a bunch of OPMs. If we wanted to take this, if we wanted to take Treviso, which is a good province. That's a really good province, actually. It's within Venice. I think that's... Of course, we still can't um, beat their navy. But I think that'll be good. That'll be a lot of money that we get from all these OPMs. We can keep you down here suppressing rebels, too. Um, and then you guys are going to go up into the HRE somewhere. Not quite sure where. Truce with Scotland has ended. I guess we had a truce with Scotland. 
Grand Ball. Spend monies for prestige or not. Um, let's just get the prestige. Mm. I don't need to unlock cathedrals right now. We'll do global trade power. That's going to be a lot of income. As well as minimum autonomy and territories is not impactful at all right now. I don't think we have any territories, but we get a pioneer policy. That is not good whatsoever. It doesn't help, but we might as well run it. That's not that good, not that good. Global trade power, diplo rep is really good. Um, that might be worth running. Advisor cost, diplo rep. I think we're going to run this. So this should be a lot more income, plus 30% global trade power. It's not too much more, but will be in the long run. And it also helps steer money away from other countries, such as the Ottomans. So I'm happy with it. Where is my navy? You guys can't be out and about while I fight Venice. Come home. Gary, come home. Great, great song. Gary, come home by SpongeBob. All right, I think we're ready to declare this war. 